Welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I just had my weekly cheat meal. I'm so full. I tried these new fries from um, Jack in the Box and I kind of tried to even it out. I got like an unsweetened tea and a fajita pita, which still isn't healthy, right? It's still not the best, still lots of salt, but it was boss. So anyway, this video is going to be my favorite body mist. Now I talk about fragrance all the time. I mentioned body mist in my last video and I told you guys this video was coming. So disclaimer, because I think this needs to be said, I'm a big fan of Bath and Body Works. I do like Victoria's Secret, but I totally get in the fragrance community where people like say that their fragrances can be very juvenile, kind of cheap smelling. So I am, I feel like I am very picky about the fragrances I like. I don't have that many. Um, I have, how many, I don't even know, like 10 or 11 fragrances to show you in this video. These are my favorite, favorite body mists of all time from Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret. And then I have also some miscellaneous brands in here because there is other brands that sell body mists. Um, I will give you guys in a different video, some layering combinations with some of my absolute favorite fragrances uh, because I feel like a lot of these, especially the ones that have really beautiful elevated scent profiles, can enhance certain fragrances. So let's get into it. So my absolute favorite, well, no, there's two here that I think are my top two for type of favorite from Bath & Body Works scents. Uh, this is one of them that I've talked about before. This is Juniper Breeze. This is a retired fragrance. Um, I believe you can get it online at bathandbodyworks.com. I don't know if they currently have it. They do this thing with their really old school fragrances where they'll bring them back and then like, you know, get rid of them. But this is one that has been around for years. This has been one that I've been in love with for years. It is a slightly masculine juniper aquatic, fresh, aromatic fragrance. This pairs very well with any like Joe Malone type aromatic fragrance. This is extremely like fresh for the spring and summer. I absolutely love it. This is also one of the fragrance mists that does last a little bit longer. So I can probably get like five hours if I'm just wearing the fragrance mist. I love it. If you like juniper in your fragrances, um, this is perfect. This also goes really well with Victoria's Secret Love, um, which also has a juniper note to it. This goes really well with any sort of aquatic fresh soapy fragrance. This is more of a soapy, like aromatic, delicious juniper fragrance. Um, I think this is totally unisex as well. Men can enjoy this just as much as women. And this is like probably one of the, they're all great, but this one's probably the one if I were to suggest you get any fragrance mist, it'd be probably, that'd be one of them for sure. <laughs> the next one that I absolutely love, this is also from Bath and Body Works, is Into the Night. Uh, this is one that I think is fairly recent, probably came out in 2019. Um, I've already gone through a couple of body lotions of this, but this is definitely something I reserve strictly for the winter time. It's a very heavy, patchouli, citrus, like floral fragrance. Um, the fragrance was according to Bath & Body Works are Raspberry Noir, Ambo Crystals, uh, Velvety Rose, Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Must. Yeah, it definitely has like that deep sexy like luscious raspberry scent and oddly enough I hate patchouli but in this it works um it does smell very nice it doesn't smell dirty at all it smells very beautiful fresh but warm and cozy this pairs really really well with Lenny Tre Trezor um by Lancome this pairs really well with Coco Mademoiselle Intense this pairs really well actually with any Chanel fragrance uh, any of the spicy oriental Chanel fragrances it pairs amazingly and this pairs really 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 well with sort of like those really dark, sexy femme fatale fragrances that have raspberry and vanilla or praline or chocolate. Like it just kind of intensifies it. This on its own does smell really nice. This one does smell like it could be an expensive perfume, which is really nice. I like it. The next one that I like uh, from Bath & Body Works is Into or In The Stars. I always wanna say Into The Stars, but it's In The Stars. This essentially is a Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe it smells a lot like burberry her minus the uh, strawberry note uh it doesn't smell like cloud it doesn't have too much of a woodiness to it but it smells more along the lines of that creamy whipped cream vibe of burberry her it literally just smells 
like whipped cream. The notes are starflower, sandalwood, musk, sugar tangelo, white agarwood, which is oud, and radiant amber. For me, I mainly get like a airy molecular whipped cream. This is very nice. Um, I pair this quite often. Anytime I wear Burberry hair, I have the lotion. I'll wear the lotion. I'll do like the whole aromatherapy in the shower with this mist, and then I'll top off with Burberry hair. I feel like that fragrance already lasts a long time, but if I do that with this, it lasts like days. This is another one that lasts a really long time for a fragrance mist, like five, six hours. I really like it. I talked about this next one already. This is Champagne Toast. This is like a must-have. A must-have if you like sparkling, bright, fruity, white florals. This goes really well with Dior Jador. This goes really well with any tea fragrance. It kind of reminds me along the vibes of like an Aqua Allegoria by Guerlain, like that type of vibe, um, but juicier and a little bit fruitier. And it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's just really good. This is another one I love. So I'm gonna finish off the Bath and Body Works ones because I have a few more and then that's it. So the next one from Bath and Body Works, I really, really love, and this has been a repurchase a couple of times. This is Night Blooming Jasmine. This essentially is just what it sounds like. It literally just smells like pure jasmine. It goes so well with any fragrance. It has a strong jasmine note. I love using this with Dior Pure Poison. Uh, this has jasmine, flower, white musk, and apple, apple blossom. I definitely don't smell any sort of apple blossom or any sort of apple-y, like, fruity note in there. I really smell mostly just a little bit of a clean musk and jasmine. It smells really, really, really beautiful. This is a nice, elevated, sophisticated body mist. This is like a beautiful, fresh and clean body mist as well for people who don't like citruses. And I really like the lotion to this as well, which I pair quite often with like any of my light, floral, happy fragrances. So I only have two more from Bath & Body Works. And I have a ton of Bath & Body Works body mists, but these are the ones that I like looked at. I was like, hey, which ones? Are my favorites which ones do I think smell really good which ones would I buy again and these were the ones that I would actually buy again or I have bought again many times so the next one is one I've been wearing for probably six or seven years already and this is mad about you um this is another retired fragrance you can only get online I don't even know if it's still available but if you can find it this is so nice this does smell like peony and apple and a little bit of rose it's it's a beautiful fruity floral, but it smells extremely feminine, extremely girly. It reminds me, I can't think of what it reminds me of. If you guys ever remember the discontinued fragrance by Dolce Gabbana, the one rose, kind of along those vibes. And I remember back in the day, I would do a pairing of that fragrance when I had it with this and amazing. So nice, so fruity, so sweet, so feminine. This is a new bottle. I really, really like that. And the last one that I recently picked up that I love, like I've been loving, especially since it's been getting super hot here, um, I pair this with a lot of my fruitier or citrusy fragrances usually, um, and I love using this in the shower. Like if I'm tired, I spray this in the shower, and it's such a realistic fragrance that it wakes me up. So this is Sun Wash Citrus. This reminds me a ton of Orange Sanguine from Atelier Cologne. It's a very realistic orange citrus fragrance. Not really toilet cleaner vibes because it's so gourmet. It does smell very realistic, like straight up, like you just cut open an orange. Um, and I like it. I like it. And I'm not the biggest citrus lover, and I do love this a lot. All right, so let's go on to fragrance mist you can buy from the drugstore. This one I'm almost out of. And this is Aqualina Pink Sugar. I do have the Eta Toilette as well. Uh, the Eta Parfum is significantly cheaper. And I probably won't be purchasing this anytime soon. But to be honest, this lasts just as long as the uh, Eta Toilette. And it's a little bit less expensive. I mean, either way, this is a cheapy, like a cheapy fragrance. But it's good. It smells just like the Pink Sugar. Um, I wore this a lot during the winter with sweet fragrances because I felt like it kind of enhanced the sweetness of whatever I was wearing. Um, but obviously if you like pink sugar, you can just put the like your regular body lotion on, spray this on your clothes and spray pink sugar on your pulse points and you will smell like 
a piece of cotton candy like all day. Um, this next one is Moonlight by Ariana Grande. I think all of the Ariana Grande fragrance mists are in general pretty good. I actually like the Ariana Grande Cloud fragrance mist, which I no longer have, um, more than I like the Ariana Grande Cloud in a perfume. I think it's a little bit lighter. It's kind of smells almost exactly like in the stars from Bath and Body Works, but um, yeah, I, I like it more than the Eau de Parfum. Um, and this Moonlight, I do have the Eau de Parfum as well. It's just like a really warm, sweet cotton candy floral as well. It's a typical celebrity fragrance, but in general, of all of the celebrity fragrance mists that are available, I think that Ariana Grande, Moonlight, and Ariana Grande Cloud are the two that I would probably buy the rest of them smell not so nice all right so let's go ahead and talk about victoria's secret i have one from victoria's secret and my issue with victoria's secret i think personally is just i wore a lot of their fragrance mist when i was very young like 14 15 years old like a super young kid and i got tired of them i don't like the smell of love spell the original pure seduction i don't like i have a few of their flankers like i have pure seduction Le creve and i do like it but it's not one of my favorites and I have a lot of their pink variations. Like I wore warm and cozy forever. And I like them, but I wouldn't rebuy them at this moment. But one that I've continued to rebuy that I think is really, really good, especially if you love vanilla, is Bare Vanilla. It'll never go out of style. It's just a very beautiful, like aromatic, cashmere vanilla, like sexy, girly, extremely feminine, sweet, um, the notes are whipped vanilla, soft cashmere, and then skin on skin. Yeah, sure. Victoria's Secret is wild with their scent profiles. Um, but yeah, it smells like a whipped vanilla cream is what it smells like. It doesn't smell like vanilla bean. I have certain fragrances that remind me of just pure vanilla bean. And um, for example, East Saint Laurent Manifesto, pure vanilla bean. No, this is that fake whipped cream vanilla. Yes, whipped vanilla essentially what it smells like. It's super good, super sexy. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. This is a high compliment getter. This is one of the few fragrance mists from Victoria's Secret that last longer than three or four hours. And you can pair this with any vanilla fragrance and it'll make any vanilla fragrance a little bit more sweeter. It'll kind of pull a little bit more of the vanilla notes on, out on it. I like pairing this with La Nuit Tresor a la folie from Lancome. I like pairing this with um, Burberry Her. I paired it a couple times with this as well. It, it kind of brings out the vanilla in that fragrance. Or any fragrance that you'd like to add vanilla to, you can do that as well. Um, or you can wear it on its own. And I really like it. I have the shimmer lotion as well. I don't have the original body lotion or the shower gel, but I love, love, love the shimmer lotion from Victoria's Secret because their shimmer is so fine. It doesn't look like glitter. It just makes your shoulders look really like shiny and pretty. So it looks really nice with like uh, sleeveless tops. So this is really good. So from a random brand, and this is just a current favorite, um, there's other fragrance lists I've tried from just like various brands, various places, but I really like this. Like I think I would repurchase this many more times. This is from Honestly Margot. This is a small uh, business, a uh, mother-daughter owned brand. Uh, I love this. And this is their goddess hair and body mist. You guys, this is luxurious. Like this smells very luxurious. It's a very heavy bergamot, a little bit patchouli, some deep florals. And it's odd how this is so deep and sexy, but still refreshing at the same time. I don't even know the notes. I'll put them on the screen but it literally makes you feel like a goddess. I have their um, oil to match it, their goddess luxe body oil, and I have their shimmer lotion as well. So when I'm feeling like I wanna wear something a little bit more aromatic, because this is definitely like essential oil vibes type aromatic, like luxurious, but relaxing type fragrance, I will wear this. Usually it's before bed um, and it's super relaxing. Something about this brand as well is they're all natural, um, cruelty free, vegan, which I don't think Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret are because they're both the same brand and I don't think the drugstore ones are either, but this is really good. Like this is, I highly recommend this. I would say get a sample first. I don't think this scent 
is for everyone. Um, I do have some of their other products from their unicorn line, and I really like that scent as well. It's like a fruity, dreamsicle, um, kind of like an orange creamsicle type scent. It's a little odd. It smells like Fruit Loops, but they only have lotions in that line, not body mist. But this body mist, really, really good. One of my favorite body mists from Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret, and Miscellaneous Places. Um, please comment below and let me know if I'm missing out what your favorite body mists are. I have tried a ton of them, but I haven't tried all of them. And if I'm missing out on something good, please let me know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos to come. Hit the notification bell to be notified of when I upload. Like this video and share this video, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.